Hi guys, um, I hope you guys really like this one. Um, this is part five, um, uh, which is the last part. Um, I feel like the last part would have been part four, but I think we should just end it off. Not with the fight, but like, you know, with you actually getting home and getting settled back and all that. So, yeah. Um... Hope you like this one. Um, also, I'm still sniffling a little bit, but like, you know, it's gotten a bit better. Um, I was trying to hold it in last video, so, yeah. Because, um, yeah, but honestly, I've been feeling kind of sick recently. But it's okay. I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just try and make it work. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> My, one of the cats is meowing. And that sounds like, I need, Persephone to shut up for one second, because, <laughs> is that even Persephone or is that shut up? I quite don't care, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you might hear me doing the cats meowing in the background. I'm very sorry for that. Anyway, yeah, let's actually get into it this time. I you probably don't hear it, though, because it's pretty faint. Anyway, yeah, let's get into it. He walks up to you after fighting with Illumi for some time. But everything that happened, you were still confused by it. Uh, uh, listener, don't worry about me, alright? I'm okay. Yeah, really. It's fine. I could just pick these needles out of me. It's okay. But what's more important is if you're okay. Did he do anything to you? What did he say? Just... You don't have to tell me right now. Tell me everything on the ride back home. I'm fine, all right? Don't worry. Really, it's okay. All that stuff is not important right now, babe. What's important is you. And you're all that matters to me right now. Look, Kula's outside. I mean, not Kula. <laughs> Could I be outside with, um... Probably with his car soon. He'll probably be coming soon. So, I'm gonna need to just have you hold on tight, alright? He'll be here in a few moments. Yeah, I'll call him up. Try and see if he can answer, but I don't know if he's working today. He's probably always working. It's gonna be really inefficient for me. Hey, Grabika. Yeah, uh, could you give us a ride back home, please? I didn't exactly beat Illumi, but... Uh, no, you're not getting it. He just gave up. But I don't think he gave up. Well... I don't have time to explain it all. Can you please just get over here? Okay. Cool. Bye. He said he'll be coming over in a bit. Now, come on. I've 
gonna untie you and all that. What do you mean, why did I come here to save you? It's because I love you. You thought I would actually just be sitting idly at home, not knowing what's happening to you? Not trying to do anything about it? <sighs> well, that's not really important right now. Well, what's important is how you feel. I want to know if he hurt you or anything. Okay, that's good. I'm supposing that he just waited for me to come here before he could inflict any damage onto you. Well, I don't want you to be upset or anything. I mean, there's a whole lot of reason to be sad or anything, but let, it's okay because I'm here right now. I know how much you miss those two. I'm pretty sure Gabriel brought you over here. Well, I don't know. When you were on the call with him, you just seemed kind of uncomfortable. I didn't want to assume at first, but now it's quite obvious that now you're saying it. Don't worry, they're all fine, but they're, well, they're sad about you. Yeah, they tried even calling the police, but nothing worked. Honestly, those police, the police force is kind of inefficient in times like this. I don't even care right now. I care about what's going on with you. That's why I came to save you. And that's why I could all because most of outside right now. I didn't want you to be walking so far. But yeah, we live on the other side of town compared to this place. I'm gonna try and do Kilo's voice, I mean, fuck, Kurapika's voice, <laughs> so, yeah, um, might not be good, though. Hey. Yeah, we're over here. Are you okay, listener? I, I almost thought that you got hurt. Kilo told me everything. I'm astonished by what happened i tried so much to help him well i could track down his phone a bit but only when it turned on so i'm pretty sure that didn't really help him finally Lumi. in the end he just ended up walking around every day trying to find you not even knowing if you were in the town yet Of course he was concerned about you. He loves you. I see that already. Anyway, I... I just wanted to tell you, Kravika. What? That he gave up on the battle? I think you already told me that. Well, yeah, but also, I don't think he gave up yet. 
He's never given up before. Maybe he actually gave in because you're his family. I highly doubt that. I don't know, though. This is so confusing. Everything about this is confusing, but I'm glad you're home with me now. I'm glad they're home with you, too. You two seem so happy, so when I heard about the news, it was quite distressing. The rest of the ride home, you guys was just sitting there talking with each other. You kind of missed having social interaction with other people for quite some time. And you guys go home, say goodbyes to Kurapika as he drives off somewhere. <laughs> and he may do something to eat. He actually made, Kilo actually made quite a lot of food for you, since he knew how much you loved his cooking. No, it's okay, really. Here, have as much as you want. I'm not hungry. I'm serious. I... I just wanted you to come back home. Well, I made all this for you because I knew you'd probably be starved to death. And I didn't want you coming home so hungry. So I figured, why not make some food for you, right? And besides, it's the type of food that you really like when I make it. So... You're welcome. Whoa, don't eat so fast. I know you've probably been really hungry, but you could you could choke on it. Oh, okay. Let me get your plate for a second. All right. It's getting late. I think you should go to bed. Night. <clears throat> you want me to stay with you? Uh, of course. But I have to finish washing the dishes. No, you don't have to do it, really. I... <sighs> Alright. Um... Uh... I guess we could work on it tomorrow. Right now is all that matters. I love you. Wait, is that outside? Is that at the river here? I don't know, but I keep hearing cats meowing, so I'm a, and it's pretty faint, so I'm going to assume that it's outside. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. This is how I'm going to end off the series with a nice happy ending. Um, I didn't want it ending off too bad. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you like this one, and... I'll see you guys next time. Bye.